Today I'll be covering addition and subtraction of fractions. To start off with, we're going to add and subtract fractions with common denominators. That means they have the same denominators. And all you do it is when you have A over B plus C over B are the same denominators, all you do is you add the numerators together, so A plus C all over, and the denominator stays the same. You don't add them together, it just stays the same. Same with subtraction. Example one, add. So one fourth plus one fourth. They have like denominators, so you just add the numerators. One plus one is two, and then the denominator stays the same. Now, you should be familiar that two fourths reduces to one half. Now, if B, negative three X, plus 1 over x. They have a common denominator, so negative 3 plus 1 is negative 2 with the same denominator of x. Now, evaluate if x is negative 1 sixth and y is 5 sixths. First, x plus y. So negative 1 sixth plus 5 sixths. So basically, you just replace the x with negative 1 6, the y with 5 6. They have common denominators, so I just add the numerators. Negative 1 plus 5 is 4. And you keep the same denominator. Now I notice that 4 and 6 are both reducible by 2. 4 reduced by 2 is 2. 6 reduced by 2 is 3. So our final answer is 2 thirds. Now, x minus y again, negative 1 sixth minus 5 sixths. Again, they have common denominators. So, negative 1 minus 5 is negative 6. Same denominator of 6. Negative 6 over 6 is negative 1. Now, if they don't have common denominators, we have to find the least common denominator. And there are two ways to do that. We can either use multiples or prime factorization. So to find the least common denominator of 5 sixths and 1 fourth, I'll show you the multiples way. What you do is you list as many multiples as you need until you find one that they have in common. So 6. 6 times 1 is 6. 6 times 2 is 12. 6 times 3 is 18. 6 times 4 is 24. 4 times 1 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. 4 times 3 is 12. And as soon as you find one they have in common, you want the smallest one there is, that's your LCD. So 12 is our LCD between 6 and 4. Now, that can get tedious when the numbers get larger, so I tend to use prime factorization. That is where you do a factor tree of all your denominators. 6 factors into 2 and 3, 4 factors into 2 and 2. Now, how many different factors do I have? 2. I have a 2 and I have a 3. Now I have to take the most of each factor from any one number. What that means is, how many 2's do I have with the 6? 1. How many 2's do I have from the 4? 2. 2 is more than 1, so I need two 2's. To show that, I'm going to use exponents, so 2 squared. How many 3's does the 6 have? 1. How many 3's does the 4 have? 0. So 1 is more than 0, so I need 3 to the first, which is 4 times 3, which equals 12. You get the same exact answer either way. Like I said, though, prime factorization is a little quicker when the numbers get larger. So example four is to find the LCD of the following fractions, A, 12 and 20. I'm going to do prime factorization. So 12, 2, and 6, 2, and 3. 20, 2, and 10, 2, and 5. Now I have three different factors. 
2, 3, and 5. I have two twos, two twos. So I need two twos. One three, zero threes. So I need one three. Zero fives, one fives. So I need one five. And then when you multiply that out, you get four times three times five, which equals four times three is 12 times five, which equals 60. My work's getting a little squished together, but 60 is the LCD between 12 and 20. Now part B, negative 1 ninth and negative 80 over B. I look at this, are 9 and B going to have anything in common? No, they are not. One is a constant and one is a variable. So in order for them to have an LCD, I need to include both of them. So my LCD is going to be 9B. So that's a shortcut you can use when you notice they don't have anything in common. Like here, they had twos in common, so that shortcut wouldn't have worked. But right here, 9 and B have nothing in common, so I can just multiply them together to get the LCD. Now example 5 is to add the fractions. 5 sixths plus 2 ninths, unlike denominators. So I need to find a common denominator. So you can do that many ways. I'm going to do prime factorization. 6 is 2 and 3. 9 is 3 and 3. So I have 2 times 3. 1, 2, 0, 2, 1, 2. 1, 3, 2, 3 is 2, 3 is. Which equals 2 times 9, which equals 18. Now what do we do once we get the LCD? Now we have to rewrite each fraction as an equivalent fraction with that LCD. So I need to write 5 sixth as an equivalent fraction with a denominator of 18 and 2 ninths as an equivalent fraction with a denominator of 18. We did this when we did equivalent fractions earlier. So 6 times what is 18? 3. So I have to multiply the 5 by 3, which is 15. 9 times what is 18? 2. Whatever you do to the bottom, you have to do to the top. 2 times 2 is 4. Now they have like denominators, so I add their numerators. 15 plus 4, 19 over 18. So 5 6 plus 2 ninths equals 19 over 18. Negative 2 fifteenths minus 7 twenty fifths. The first thing I'm going to do is find the LCD. Again, prime factorization. So 15 is 3 and 5. 25 is 5 and 5. Now, I only have two factors, 3 and 5. I need one three, but I need two fives. So three times 25, which equals 75. So now I have to rewrite each fraction with a denominator of 75. Now 15 times what is 75? Well, I know 15 is three times five. I know 75 is three times five times five. So the only thing different between this and this is 1, 5. So I know I have to multiply 15 by 5, which means I have to multiply the negative 2 by 5, which is negative 10. Now 25 times what is 75? 3. Since I multiplied the 25 by 3, I have to multiply the 7 by 3, which gives us 21. Now they have like denominators, I just add the numerators. Negative 10 minus 21 is negative 31 over 75. And that cannot be reduced. So negative 2 fifteenths minus 7 25ths equals negative 31 over 75. Now 15x plus 7 thirds. Again, I'm going to use my shortcut. x and 3 have nothing in common. So I know my 
LCD is going to be 3x. x times what is 3x? Well, 3. So I have to do 15 times 3, which is 45. Now, 3 times what is 3x? x. So I have to multiply 7 by x, which is 7x. Now, when I add the numerators this time, they don't have anything in common, so I can't combine them because they aren't like terms. So I'm just going to be left with 45 plus 7x all over the common denominator, which is 3x. Now, this cannot be simplified because this is addition at top, not multiplication. So I cannot cancel out those x's. Now, d, y over 4 minus 7 over 8. If you notice, 4 goes into 8. When that happens, your LCD is that larger number. So my LCD is 8. 4 times what is 8? 2. So I have to multiply the y by 2. 2y. Two Nothing changed here, so I'm just with 7. Again, when I combine the numerators, they aren't like terms, so I am left with 2y minus 7 over 8. Again, I cannot reduce the 2 and the 8 because this is not multiplication, it's subtraction in the numerator. So y over 4 minus 7 eighths is 2y minus 7 all over 8. And that is it for addition and subtraction of fractions.